Howdy do doll, welcome back to another video. Um, it's currently at Edward's house. He is running some errands right now, but I am doing another backyard mechanic at his crib today. You can already see it right here. There's your hint, but there we go. I'm pretty excited for this to be honest with you. Here is the reveal. Sheesh. I'm gonna install the uh, new hybrid racing short shifter for the ninth gens. Um, one of my friends on Instagram, they've been raving about this shifter for a long time and keeps on um, complaining to hybrid racing to make a ninth gen one since they never made one for the ninth gen. They had one for the 10th gen and some other cars, but here it is. She's a beauty. But um, yeah, I'm gonna install this today. It shouldn't be too bad because I'm currently running the um, Buddy Club short shifter. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best. It's still a short shifter, but it feels like stock. Like I felt a stock shifter before because the Buddy Club shifter already came with the car. So it's better to buy nice than to buy twice. So you feel me? Buy nice. So I'm gonna take off the uh, center console and interior pieces so I can start putting this in. So when I take that off, hopefully Ed will be back and we can do the rest of this. But yeah, also, it's a really beautiful day out today. So, this is one of the nicer days in December where I can actually do stuff. But I have the uh, install guide here. Hopefully this can help me. Um, yeah, straight from the website. So, I gotta start by taking this off and the trim pieces, the center console out. And then, We'll look into the interior stuff. So, took the shift knob out. Literally, all you need to do is take this piece off here um, with like a trim trimmer, trim remover. So, you let it go here, dig under, and you can prop it up. But I should probably put y'all down, and then I will just follow the instructions. All right, boom, got it out. Um, now, you gotta unplug the uh, HDMI, USB, and a cigarette lighter. Those three ports right there. Just unplug it, and then after that, it says to use a screwdriver, screw this up, get this bracket out, and then we'll remove this bottom center console, big piece. So, I'll be right back. Boom, got the that piece off. Um, literally just unplug the three wires. This one is a cigarette lighter. This one's for the HDMI, as you can see. And that one's for the uh, USB. So, time to unscrew these. Well, that's pretty easy so far. But yeah, this is the Buddy Club shifter. Obviously, it's not the uh, clear, pale looking short, uh, stock one. But I'm probably gonna sell this one after I put the uh, hybrid racing one on so DM me if you want it if you're balling on a budget it's not terrible but better than nothing all right so now we're gonna have to remove this and then um, there's like two screws in the center console right there and then we could probably pull this whole thing out Oof, but yeah, man, got the whole center console piece out, um, and yeah, it's kind of grody in here. Um, I don't know why there's a freaking paper clip right there, but previous owner kept this. Uh, I don't know, it's a little dirty. Maybe he had a dog or something, but it's like kind of poo poo in here. But literally, you unplug this gray 
piece right here. Plug, pull that out. And now you could take the whole center console. Um, Cause this is the USB that is in the box. So I'll leave this on the grass, I guess. Just don't get that piece wet. And we shall continue. Um, I just had to get some soapy water. That shit hella dirty right now, so it's gonna bother me. I wish I brought a vacuum, but can't really do anything about the other stuff, so BRB. But yeah, I can't really do much. I saw another video about it, and it also looks as dirty as this. I don't know what that is. Um, some type of grease, oil, I don't know, but don't quote me on that. But we will continue. Hopefully take this off in a bit. Cause I know the hardest part about this is the uh, getting those cables in and out. Um, but other than that, everything else should be pretty easy. But let's remove this buddy club shifter. So from the instructions, the next steps is moving this metal bracket to 10 mils here. And then this bracket to, I believe this bolt here. And the one, other one on the other side. Um, and then I think we could remove the shifter afterwards with looks like a Torx key. But yeah, um, so far no problems, which is surprising. But now I said that, we're probably going to run into problems. So Honda God, please don't do this to me. BRB. Got the two brackets out from here and over here and the shift is next um honestly i think this rustiness or whatever i think it's honestly grease um because it gets like super hot from metal metal contact all the time and um probably from like shifting too so that's why it looks so like crusty looking but i do have some grease afterwards so i might grease everything up again um just so I don't create too much heat from the metal to metal contact. The grease will definitely help with that. Um, so I have that in my trunk. So I'll show y'all in a bit what I bought. But I'll leave that over there right now. Everything's really messy. And almost done. So I think next is the shifter cables here. Which is the toughest part. One here and one there. And other than that, I think so far so good. So I got one side of the cable out. This is kind of annoying to take out, to be honest with you. You literally have to like keep on spinning it counterclockwise and you have to align it to something. I don't know what it's talking about on the instructions when it says aligning to the, um, let's see, align it with the shifter? What, like what am I aligning to? Like the doesn't really say it just says this flip the lock in the shifter ring this can be tough because you can spin it enough for the slot to align with the shifter what slot this maybe I just flip but I need to take this one now I, I, I got this one out I just did did it slowly by slowly and it, I tugged on it and it, and it pulled out um, but after that, you just want to retract it back to its uh, proper position. And then when you put it back, you probably have to do that same technique again. But I need to take this one out first. Then um, we can start unbolting it afterwards. So BRB, look at this. <laughs> so funny. Holy shit, finally took, excuse my language, <laughs> took both the shifter cables out. So I was basically observing this side. I don't know how I pulled it out, but I did a trial and error. But as you can see, as the more you turn it, it'll like grip on this piece right here. Um, it's kind of hard to explain if it can focus, but I'll try to re-demonstrate it when I do it again. But I just want to twist it enough so it can grip onto this um, little hole. So then it'll just spin off and then it'll tighten and hold in place. But now I could take these with Allen wrenches and then um, we'll re-put it back together. Oh, by the way, this car came with 
hybrid racing short shifters and bushing so I guess I gotta go hybrid racing instead of uh, acuity but I'm not bashing on acuity I was gonna go acuity but this was on sale got on Black Friday so I'm excited one two three four and remove this shifter probably post it on Facebook or my Instagram and sell it if you guys are interested but Ed got some electronic tools should be quick we're gonna put this beauty on. Um, it's currently set at the shortest throw, number two. Um, so they already know that I want the shorter throw, not the longer throw. Um, and let's see how this shifts. Thank you to Ed. This man's eating breakfast but uh, selling this buddy club shifter let me know if y'all interested and let's put the other aftermarket shifter in just open the doors for more lighting So, I'm pretty sure I should grease like over here and this bottom, uh, I don't even know what it's called, like where the cable connects and that's where you want to lube it up with some grease that I bought, bought some automotive multi-vehicle high temperature red grease just in case of that metal grinds and grinds and then um, we don't want that to uh, overheat. So I got some gloves here. Let's do that right now. Dang, this looks like some cranberry sauce. Yeah, just rub it there and then the bottom one too. The bottom um, rubber grommet thing that connects the cable shifter to the actual shifter. Yeah, just pin it back. Then I'm gonna attach this to there, and then I'll put my shift knob back. Got some cranberry sauce. Is this gonna focus? Some cranberry sauce. Just wipe it on here. Just a little bit. Okay, maybe that's a lot, but it's okay. And I think put this clip back in here, and we should be good to go. Just do everything in reverse order. Get that little paper clip in. How's it feel? Where's the shift? Shift knob. Probably get a new shift knob later, but this will do for now. But dang, looks clean. And we're about to go race now. Sheesh. <laughs> but I'm gonna clean up. Yeah, bottom right. How's it reverse? Is it weird? It's tight. You just gotta have to get used to it. But it's good. I mean, yeah, it's good. It's good. I don't even think you need the other one. What well, other one? The other one that you wanted to buy? Or you wanted to try? Uh, I was gonna just get that to compare, but... Okay, I'm gonna put everything back together. Ooh, quick update. It's been a couple hours. Put everything back together. So, looks hella good. But let me show y'all how it shifts. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, and six. Holy, this is so, so tight. One, two, one, two. Oh. And I also put some lights in there so when it gets darker, hopefully it can illuminate show y'all later I got the button here um, but actually let's see if it works right now so yeah oh there it is boom it's gonna shift in RGB but yeah man that was a pretty cool install I'm gonna have fun with the shifter but 
give y'all a review maybe a couple weeks later, maybe a month later. I don't know. But yeah, man. Dope ass upgrade. So I'm miss I, I have a screw left over. I have no clue where this goes. Uh, everything's already closed back. But hopefully it's nothing important because I did bolt down everything. Um, but yeah, man, I'll let y'all know in the next video if I'm still alive. Shout out to Ed for the help, but I will see y'all in the next one. I just got home uh, from Ed's house, but this shift is great. Like, look at my face. I'm smiling. Look at this. It's beautiful. I was like, shifting it, I was like, boom, 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 boom. And we're already home, sheesh. Hey man, hybrid racing. Shout out to you guys. You guys did a very good job on the shifter. But um, I haven't tried the cutie shifter myself, so I can't really say which one is better. But um, hopefully I get my hands on one of those and I definitely wanted to do a comparison. So maybe I'll do that for the next video. But stay tuned and thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Red is clean.